Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and there is a new ROM, a ROM which I have devved in the past, that means I have compiled this ROM, I have maintained it for the Xperia Z1 back in the day and uh, yeah, unofficial version of Paranoid Android is available for the Poco X3 Pro. It is also available for this device that is the Mi 11X but unfortunately my phone is not unlocked so we shall have a look at that later. But in today's video we're going to install Paranoid Android on the Poco X3 Pro. We will talk about the change log and a lot other things including the flashing process. So before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we have more than a thousand like-minded people helping each other. So you can join the discussion there as well. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? AOS PA, PA cap. Now, the reason this is significant and important, I don't know if it'll make any real world difference to the development or the performance, but this is CAF based. What does that mean? It is sort of very close to what Qualcomm sources are, and that is the reason this ROM is supposed to, or it should ideally be better than other AOSP based ROMs. It does say Paranoid Android Ruby 1 Alpha. So this is not even a beta, it is alpha, so expect a lot of bugs. It is released on the 28th of July, 2021. Initial alpha release uses Adreno AV Display Media Perf Sec Comp WN QTI components. As I said, this is directly very close to the Qualcomm sources, right? Fixed media codecs, fixed WFD completely, no more glitches, fixed L1 in Netflix, that is great. Switched to Redfin Wi-Fi configs. Now brace yourselves, here come the bugs. SE Linux status is permissive, which also causes safety net to fail. Will fix once I'm free. Color mode settings display colors other than saturated look bad right now, okay. Currently alpha stage OSS vendor suggested firmware is this, GFs included, kindly ignore the internal error on boot, all right. So now we can take this Mi 11X aside and keep it over here just like the other videos and what do we have here we have a Poco X3 Pro which is currently running .OS now remember you need a unlocked bootloader and a TWRP recovery installed to do this flashing stuff right now make sure you have backed up everything on your phone's internal storage because we are going to do a format data which will wipe everything and make sure you have more than 50 percent battery there are two files that you'll need the rom and the firmware you can copy them to a otg drive or a sd card and then flash it because if you're going to keep it on the internal storage and do a format data it will be lost so after that you will have to connect to the computer again and copy those files now once all of that is taken care of just reboot to recovery so restart and press and hold volume up and power all right now just like that as you can see we are in twrp so if you're not encrypted you can in you know you can go ahead and ignore this step but i will still go ahead and do wipe format data type in yes okay then reboot and select recovery wait for the phone to boot back into twrp and i am using the latest official twrp so i would suggest you to use that as well okay now wait for the touch drivers to load these twrps sometimes take five or ten seconds to load the touch drivers so go to wipe advanced wipe dalvik data internal dalvik data internal storage cache that's about it i'm not wiping everything else okay now go to install select storage and select the micro sd card hit okay First select the firmware, hit add more zips and PA Ruby, that's the ROM, swipe to confirm flash. Now as always, this flash will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. At the same time, keep an eye on this flashing screen to make sure you don't get any errors. Let's wait for the flash to complete and we'll have a look at the alpha build of Paranoid Android for the Poco X3 Pro. All right, now as you can see, the ROM has been flashed and just scroll through here to see that you don't have any errors. So reboot system. And the first boot usually takes for me 30 seconds to a minute because this is an 860 powered device and it's pretty powerful. So let's wait for the boot logo to show up. Let's see how it looks now. I'm sort of excited for Android 12 ROMs to come out because I have 
heard and experienced good things about it a very very basic boot animation simple so let's wait for the boot to complete all right so internal error ignore that start skip set up offline okay so just like that we are on the home screen i can see that the colors actually don't look that great you have a greenish sort of uh, theme going on over here with the quick tiles and uh, yeah pretty basic pretty pretty basic let's see what we have in a refresh rate is it on 60 because it feels a little oh it does say maximum 120 so i don't know it's not as smooth because this is an alpha build and the colors look a bit washed out right so that is mentioned in one of the bugs so if you go over here if you go to colors boosted does that look better yeah that looks better okay so boosted i think boosted looks fine that's not a problem but if you go to settings over here you go to about and you hit the android version which is android 11 you will see over here that you have paranoid android version ruby one dev so this is a developer version security patches july and the kernel is the mochi kernel right and uh, do you have any customizations of paranoid android dedicated customization menu is something i don't see over here so you will have everything within the settings itself like some other roms like aero os and stuff it does come with gcam go which is always a welcome addition to the left you do have google discover and if we talk about home settings you do have a very very basic home launcher which does the job so the rom is not that smooth because this is an alpha release but i think you can definitely give it a try if you are okay with the bugs that are mentioned Paranoid Android in OSS and CAF flavor coming to the POCO X3 Pro is huge and I have big expectations from this ROM in the next one or two months. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about these back to back videos for the POCO X3 Pro. Of course we have not forgotten the POCO F1 and the K20 Pro videos for these devices are coming as well and live streams for these devices are coming as well. If you have not yet please do subscribe because it really really helps the channel and 80% of our views are coming from people who have not subscribed. Until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.